The evolution of our digital communication has changed from sending hundreds of emails to countless messages a day. Technology such as IRC and Slack have traditionally been developer tools. And as we know, Microsoft Teams has been widely adopted by schools and the enterprise around the world in an effort to enable a distributed workforce. With the pandemic, the change in how we communicate accelerated beyond our imagination. And today, the CEOs of the largest companies to school children around the globe are relying more and more on Microsoft Teams. Now our target audience for this are people who want to access maps from their GIS in line where the conversation is happening. With the preview release, we do not target the GIS professional or creator, but the audience that these roles create content for. By installing ArcGIS for Teams, you get maps added to your app bar. In this case, let's go ahead and log in as an employee from the city of Los Angeles. I use content from the GIS to help me make decisions and answer questions every day. Today, I was asked about updates from the DOT on the city's 2021 plans. I didn't know the exact name, but I recall it was a streets app. So I searched for that. I can click to get more information about any of the items returned to make sure that I am opening the correct item. As an employee, I use content from the GIS to help me make decisions and answer questions. Today, I was asked about updates from the DOT on the city's 2021 plans. I didn't know the exact name, but I recall it was a streets app from my organization. So I'm gonna to switch to search my organization for our streets app. From here, I can click to get more information about the particular items that came back. Now this is the one that I was looking for, which was the strategic plan dashboard for health and safety. Next, I'll open the dashboard and take a look at this content live right here within Teams. When I click to open it, it will open the viewer tab where it loads the specific application, which in this case was the dashboard. Now, the question that I was asked was about how many planned street segments of green network that we have. I can see from my app here, I can click on planned, and I now have 76 street segments that we have in the upcoming 21-23 strategic plan. I can now report this number back and get it into my report that I'm writing up for management. Now, as a map enthusiast, I did notice something on the base map and it was a little off. I asked the GIS department about it and they told me that the base map comes from Esri and it's the World Street base map. And then I can provide my feedback directly to the great people of Esri. Now, using this function, I'm gonna go ahead and search for feedback. This returns the different feedback maps from Esri that allow me to directly communicate with the team on any errors that could appear within the map. I zoom to my area of interest. And I happen to know that this particular segment of road is no longer there. So I choose to go ahead and edit. I can add a feature and I can open an issue. I can describe 
what this is, is a general comment. And if there's any resolution notes or specifically what map I was looking at. So I can go ahead and choose add and then we'll send that off to the team to review. Lastly, to close the loop, my boss asked me where I got the number of segments for the green network that's planned in 2021. In line with our chat, I'm gonna go ahead and use a function that's gonna allow me to send the map directly to him. So for this, I will go to my chats. I will look up my boss's name, who is asking for this report. And from the bottom, using the extensions, I can go ahead and use the map extension where I can search for the LADOT strategic plan. Now that I've searched this, I see that all of the different strategic plans for my organization are available. But the particular one that I was looking for, if we recall earlier, was from health and safety. I'll go ahead and click on this, which will go ahead and load the card, and I can send a note. And just like that, I've sent the map directly to my boss so they can go ahead and review my work in searching and finding information from our strategic plan. Now, as we mentioned, that the ArcGIS for Teams allows me to search within my organization, but it also has a function for the public. Now, we saw the viewer, which lets me preview content, but I can go to the options, and in this case, I'll go ahead and sign out. So I will be using this as a public user and somebody who is not authenticated into ArcGIS. This allows a user to search all the public ArcGIS Online content all over the world. To start off, we'll do a search for National Geographic. As we can see here, there's thousands of items labeled National Geographic, but specifically, I'm looking for content that I can use in the classroom or share with my students. To narrow this down to only find applications that the students can use, I will go ahead and refine my search. Using the different search facets, I can choose apps and then specify ArcGIS story maps. I will keep my keywords for National Geographic and go ahead and hit search again. This refined search now only returns story map items to me. There's a lot of great content in here, but one of the things I'm looking for in my classroom is specifically to talk and share about how GIS applies to kids. With this story map, we can talk about GIS as an introduction to fourth and fifth graders. As we scroll through, we see all of these great use cases that explain how GIS can be used around the world. Thank you.